everybody. This is EJ from Tarota Tarot. I hope everybody had a good New Year's Eve and a good New Year's. I know that I did. <clears throat> For my fellow Torians out there, hopefully you guys got a taste of what's to come for this year as far as romantic relationships are concerned this is going to be a real quick read for tomorrow thursday january 3rd i wanted to get back up here i've been trying to get back up here for a day and a half this is just one thing after another yesterday was new year's and phone ringing where are you you coming over we got a plate for you come get some food yeah so that's what I did yesterday, as bad as I tried to get back up. I left, I posted a, another video of just me. I'm kind of camera shy, so I don't like always being on camera, but I did post one of me um, <laughs> on my way to get a plate. But anyway, so this is going to be a real quick thing. We're going to go in order. We're going to start with Aries. And it's just going to be a real quick three-card thing for tomorrow, January 3rd. Um, energy has changed a little bit. Um, we got a solar eclipse coming up here in the next seven days or so. Um, some planetary shifts. Hit me up if you're interested in knowing what those shifts are. All right. So for Aries, three cards for tomorrow. Eight of coin. Five of coin and the devil card. So Aries, I'm gonna tell you, keep working hard like you have been. Um, it looks like there may be a little bit of trouble tomorrow with a loved one, um, in particular someone who's just having a lot of problems with, with how they see things, the illusions that they see. This is not so much about you as it may be a sister, a cousin, a brother, maybe an aunt, a dad, a mom, somebody in your family, and they're just really disillusioned. So if you know somebody in your family that's having some problems, and I'm not so much looking at the couple, I'm looking at the eyeball. If you stand back and look, there's actually a pupil in an eyeball. So it's kind of telling me that... Um, it's somebody that you're related to so just watch out for family tomorrow Aries and if you can help help if not help that person get some help other than that um, don't let anybody try and look at your documentation if you got anything you sign in the next day or two look at it you don't want anybody walking away with your money um, make sure all the I's are dotted and T's are crossed other than that I see you guys are working hard trying to accomplish some things here in the next couple of weeks Aries, you are good to go. We are going to move on to Taurus. My fellow Taurians. I hope my Taurus babies had some good stuff over the holidays. I know it has been extremely hard for Taurus the past year or two. So I hope you guys had a good Christmas if you celebrated Kwanzaa, Hanukkah, whatever it is. I hope it was good to you. I hope New Year's Eve and New Year's was good to you as well. And let me pull our, for our three cards. Nine of Coin. Ace of Swords. Five of Swords. Taurus, you need to keep creating that higher standard. That, that thing up in the air. No matter who it's with. And if you see, and, and in this deck for the... Uh, the deep tarot, uh, the meaning of this card is about creating a higher standard. And that's what we need to keep doing. We need to keep, um, we need to just keep whittling things down, whether it's relationships or the type of job or position that we're looking for as far as our career is concerned. Tomorrow, we need to make sure that we aren't selling ourselves short um, and that we keep getting the best out of ourselves. Communication-wise, let's keep it going. Let's not shut down on anybody. Let's keep talking. You know, do the love letter. Do you like me? Yes or no? Check a box. Keep it open. Keep it short. Keep it clean. Don't get caught up in a bunch of bullshit when you're talking. Just put it out there like it is, which is what we normally do anyway. Do it like that. We should be good with that. Make sure that you don't um, 
if you encounter anything in the next day or two, that you don't let your fears and your, your belief system keep you from standing up for what you know is right. Um, just because somebody is doing something, if you know it's not right, don't, don't tolerate that bullshit. No pun intended, but don't tolerate it. It's, it's not cool. Uh, and I have a feeling this will probably be work-related and somebody's going to probably try and bully somebody. You can kind of see that in this picture, in this card. Don't let your fears keep you from doing what you know is right to do. Other than that, everything is good, Taurus. All right, let's shuffle it up. See what we got going on for Gemini for tomorrow, January 3rd. Going on for Gemini. My brother's a Gemini. He's just, just too much. He's just Mr. Personality. But then he got that other side too. <laughs> Which is not Mr. Personality. But you gotta love the Geminis and keep things going, definitely. All right, Gemini, let's see what we got going on for you for tomorrow, Thursday, January 3rd. First card, King of Coin. Second card, Four of Coin. Third card, King of Wands. So, a big thing, watch your money. If you're doing any kind of uh, investment, Gemini, make sure you, you're on top of your coin. There's nothing but money. And this dude here is definitely about hoarding, hanging on to, being stingy with. Make sure you don't have anything coming out of your checking account, maybe that shouldn't be coming out. Something small, five or ten dollars, but over time, five or ten dollars can add up. So uh, check your state, check your bank statements. Um, as far as relationship is concerned, wa watch where you're spending your money too. That that's the other thing. Make sure you're not, you know, just throwing good money at the bad on some bullshit ass relationship that you know is not going anywhere. Check that out with the King of Wands. Um, don't let the person that is all smiles and giggles and shit trying to be the hostess with the mostest don't let them bullshit you with some bullshit uh, know it see it coming and if you see you got two greens and a red this is not you this is somebody coming towards you and they're coming with some bullshit but they're going to pretty it up so they're going to try and put perfume on doo doo and don't go for it. Don't fall for it, Gemini. I don't know what the hell they're selling or trying to get you to buy or invest in. Don't do it. Again, watch your coin. And you should be good to go, Gemini. All right, let's shuffle it up for Cancer. I hope my Cancer babies have had a good holiday season. I know you Cancers ain't real fond of the cold, but if you're on that part of the... If you're in that part of the country where it's cold, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, because I know it's cold. It was cold here. I didn't want to get up this morning. It was just too cold. All right, Cancer, let's see what we got going on. First card, Three of Coin. Second card, Knight of Swords. And the third card, Knight of Cups. Oh, ooh, nighty. Uh... Cancer, keep keep making your plans. You're working on something that you might be ready to present shortly. This seems like it's work related. And in the uh, deep tarot deep tarot deck, this is about making plans, and that's exactly what I hear. You're making plans. You're trying to put together uh, a project, maybe with some coworkers. Keep going at it. Don't let up. Um, some people might try and wander away, and you know, need a break and not come in. The, to work or coming to help on the project don't don't put up with it keep working on the project you're almost where you need to be with the knight of swords um you may have someone within this group that's just wild and so uh make sure whatever documentation you need to have for this project you have everything in writing so you don't have people like this just trying to run roughshod over you be careful tomorrow uh, with people that are just trying to bogart your cancer and just take credit for stuff that you're doing. You ain't going for that and you ain't falling for that. Um, the meaning of the card has to do with uh, difficult to tame, hyperactive. That's the energy that I'm picking up off of this card. It's for somebody that's just trying to run right over you. You see dudes going one way, the horses going the other. Yeah, no, we ain't trying to do that. The Knight of Cups is telling me that 
you may have an admirer and this seems to be within the work setting as well it could be work it could be church it could be temple wherever you're going but somebody is checking you out cancer um keep your eyes open looks like you may bump into this person in the next day or so keep your eyes open be nice uh, seems like they're trying to come with some good stuff for you, but you want to keep that communication line open. That's what you want to do with that. All right, Cancer. We're going to move it on to Leo. See what's up with my line. Leo, babies. Oh, my Leo's had a good holiday. My good friend here is a Leo. And... She's an extraordinary cook, and she had gumbo New Year's Day, and I missed that plate, didn't get that plate, but anyway, um, I know you Leos are, can be very good cooks. All right, let's see what we got going on for Leo. First card, Leo is the Fool. Second card, Six of Wands. Third card, Nine of Wands. So, um, be cool tomorrow. Don't jump your ass out on the thing like, hey, I'm here now. Do the refined lion thing. I like that when y'all do that because y'all like, Leo's are so cool. Just do the refined lion. Don't, don't do this tomorrow. Don't get in the meeting and just cut loose. Don't do it because somebody going to just be like, ha ha. And if you look down here at the very bottom, there's somebody looking up. Dude, keep it cool. Do the refined lion thing. Um, you're going to get recognition. I'm not picking up so much romance in this little three-card reading for tomorrow, but for whatever this is, this project that you're working on, you will receive some recognition. Um, take it graciously like you can, Leo. You know you, you know, y'all got it like that. So take it graciously, and it seems like it's well-deserved. So take, take the recognition as it comes. Do not get caught up in your head. Do not let your brain catch it on fire with no bullshit. And that's what the Knight of Wands means. And Wands, of course, is about fire. Don't let your brain get on fire because you done overthought something. If you have a presentation tomorrow or if you have one coming up here in the next day or two or in the next three or four business days, don't get caught up. You know you've done a good job. You know you did the research. You know you did what you needed to do. So don't let this stress you. We got you all up in your head like, all right, did a good job. Uh -uh. You did a good job. You're the lion. You got it like that. All right, Leo, let's move on to Virgo. I hope my Virgo baby had a good holiday. Hope y'all were able to twist it up good. And let's see what we got going on for Thursday, January 3rd. Virgo. All right, Virgo, your first card. Four of Cups. Second card, King of Coin. Wow. In reverse with the same setup. This is not the same thing, Virgo. Um, don't hang on to your money and your possessions. Um, seems like you're going to come into contact with somebody tomorrow. Don't let them think that you use your material possessions as a security blanket, Virgo. Don't let them do that because if you do, if they get that perception of you, they are going to t try and take advantage of you. So don't let, beyond that, don't, don't give up too much too soon. If this is somebody um, in the workplace that you might be thinking about dating or maybe just kind of sticking your big toe in the water, that's cool, but don't give up too much information too soon. Um, this is the four coin, and it is about your, in, in this deck, it's about money and possessions, but the energy I'm picking up for this is just kind of keep it on the DL for a minute till you know more about the person or people um, you're getting ready to get involved with. With the king of coins, just know that everybody does not have your best interest at heart when it comes to your money so uh if you've got this card is about protection as well as uh being secure and stable i'm picking up the protection part make sure that if you sign a contract uh or if you're getting ready to get into negotiations with somebody if you're getting ready to get a divorce even make sure there are things in whatever it is that you're doing 
make sure that things in there set up that protect you. So people are not just taking advantage of whatever it is that you are trying to either get from someone or share with someone. Make sure you got good stuff in writing and make sure that if shit goes south, you got a plan and you have a plan in writing and people are aware that you're ready to have an exit plan if you need it. That's just coming from spirits. So I, whoever that's resonating with, if it's just one of you, that's good. Take the warning. Make sure you got everything done. With the King of Wands in this reading, this is just a note to you to stay strong and watch your shit. So, you see that wine but kind of behind him. Just stay up on stay up on what you need to do. This card is not only about a charming person, but it's also about being strong, charismatic. I'm picking up stay strong, watch your shit. Don't get don't get soft anywhere. It seems like whatever this is you got going on, you're kind of vulnerable. Don't get vulnerable. Watch your shit. Make sure you got that wine behind you. Um, because, and you know, wines are about fire energy. So, if something goes wrong, Virgo, you're not trying to just have the shit blow up in your face. So, watch your shit. Uh, make sure that uh, you have, like I said, everything you need to have to protect yourself. And make sure you're not giving up too much too soon. Alright, Virgo, we're going to leave that there. And we are going to move on to Libra. And I hope my Libra babies had a good holiday with your balanced selves, over analyzing, analytical, intellectual creatures of the air signs. I hope you guys had a good holiday and were able to get some of the things you wanted to get accomplished, accomplished. And I'm going to twist these up once. Alright, Libra, let's see what we got going on. First card, Seven of Swords. Ooh, second card, Three of Swords. Third card, Hermit card. So, Libra, it seems like you got some people that are doing some backstabbing. Some strategy, deception type shit. Um, and if I had to pick up on the energy, I would say that's you standing up, Libra. And these other two people, this is... It got a real work feel to it right here. Um, make sure people are not taking credit for your work. If you got to sign all your shit, sign all your shit. However that goes for you. But that's very loud and clearly telling me to make sure you're getting the credit for whatever you're doing at work. Um, I know a lot of times if you have people that are over you, you know, they'll have you running reports, you know, and doing all this crazy stuff and you find out two hours later they're sitting in some executive board meeting on some work that took you five hours to do acting like they did it so this is telling me to just watch out for that this is that kind of energy where you know people are quick to be trying to steal somebody else's ideas or, or uh, work watch for that Libra I don't know what's going on in your love life but uh, it seems like you're going to hear something about somebody you've been interested in or you're going to end up having a conversation with that person and you might actually get your feelings hurt a little bit right here. Um, I don't get the feeling that this is permanent. If you do hear something, uh, there may be a good explanation about what it is somebody thought they saw or heard. Uh, I wouldn't be so quick to just throw the baby out with the bath water, as it were. Find out what's going on. Open up the lines of communication if you need to. Um, Definitely do, do the talking. If there's something you need to know or want to know about somebody maybe you're interested in, um, it, and it could go that way where it's not even about any kind of betrayal, but just something you need to know. If you want to know, ask that person. Just go directly to them. And this has obviously got to do with your feelings, obviously, with the heart there. Um but if it's somebody you've been dealing with and, you know, you just hear, Oh, I thought I saw so-and-so with somebody else. I thought I saw so-and-so having... Nah, uh Ask that person. Go go straight to the heart of the matter, as it were. Just like the picture. Yeah, take your daggers and go straight to that person and say, Look, I heard whatever. 
and talk it out. It's probably not going to be what you think it is. Uh, as far as the hermit, it's getting the feeling that after all of this, you may need to take a day or so to reflect. Um, not necessarily that you're hurt or angry or lost. You see, dude has a light. But just take a moment, maybe Saturday, Sunday, and just chill. You know, it's a lot of energy you're dealing with, with people acting funky at work and, you know, not knowing what you're looking at with somebody you care about or trying to be interested in. So, yeah, go ahead this weekend. If you can find some time, get to the spa, go to the gym, go for a walk, hell, go outside, make a snow angel, whatever. Do something that makes you feel good so you can kind of regenerate your energy for next week, Libra. All right, Libra, leaving it there. We are going to move on to Scorpio. I know my Scorpio, Scorpios are party people. I know y'all had a good weekend. I don't even have to ask. I know y'all did the damn thing two or three times over. I ain't mad at you. I hope you were safe. I hope everything went well for you. And I'm going to pop this out one time for Scorpio. And this is for Thursday, January 3rd. So Scorpio, your first card is the Empress card. Second card is the Princess of Coins. And the third, oh, see, see I knew y'all had a good weekend. Third card is the Lover's card. Well, let, let's let's just, just get to the end of all that shit. Let's just talk about the Lover's card. What you got going on, Scorpio? And this looks like some real good shit. Because it's grass and green. Just, you know... Not necessarily direct sun, but blue sky. You know, this good shit. Picnic type shit. This is good. Whomever this is, Scorpio, take some time with this person. That's the energy I'm picking up. Take some time with this person. This is a lover's card. Um, if you've been so busy during the holidays that uh, you haven't had a chance to sit down and have a meal with your other, whoever it is, male, female, whatever, do this do this maybe this weekend maybe saturday sunday go for coffee go get some donuts want to catch a movie uh or do some go window shopping but do something together with your person because i think they might be feeling kind of left out and, it, and it's not that you've done anything wrong scorpio it's just been probably the hustle and the bustle of the holidays so find your other and do some stuff um You have people at work trying to play games. And this is the Empress card. So this is about respect and um, self-worth or losing your self-respect. This is somebody at work, Scorpio, that's playing some games. And it, it's really about them not having the self-confidence in themselves. to do the date. It seems like they have a big job, but they aren't really confident. And if you look at old girl, she looks like she's not actually the best thing to be sitting on the swan it's just the same kind of energy i'm picking up it's got to be either somebody at work or maybe if you sit on an administrative something at church or temple or somewhere it's that kind of environment um this person is going to be trying to do and talk a lot of bullshit about you behind your back to people that kind of count so use your brain use your intellect get some strategy going and just be aware and, and have some plans in place so if things kind of get out of hand you know how to handle it with the princess of coins this is just telling me that you're a valuable asset just know that uh and i'm gonna particularly say dealing with this just remember you are a valuable asset and that is one of the meanings of this card by being a valuable asset just know that you are contributing as much, if not more, than anybody else. So don't let anybody tell you, hey, man, you not doing it now. Bullshit. Yes, you are. You are doing quite enough. And again, after those first two cards, we go back to this last one. Definitely do this this weekend. Find some time with your other. Go chill. Go hang. Go to a club. Listen to some music. It'll be good for you. It'll good, be good for the two of you. Um, but... It, for your other, they definitely need to reconnect. So do some reconnecting this weekend. All right, Scorpio, I'm going to leave that there for you. And we are going to move on to Sagittarius. All my Sagittarius friends just had a birthday last month. 
I hope you guys had a good holiday, a good New Year's Eve, and a good New Year's. Alright, let's see what's going on for Sagittarius for tomorrow, Thursday, January 3rd. So your first card, Five of Wands. Second card is the Ten of Cups. And the third card is the Ace of Wands. So... Sagittarius, get your get, get get out of the scatterbrain thing. This is in this deck. This is about um, refocusing or energy being scattered. And if you look closely, I don't know what the heck it is. It's vine and rope, but it's just going in every single direction there is to go, all over the place. Sag, bring it back home. Refocus. Prioritize whatever you need to do. Kids, job, church, or church kids job or dinner kids zoo whatever it is prioritize it and get that it's probably why you're tired and a bit frazzled because you got your attention on too many things so uh maybe you want to get a journal and write down the top three things that are important to you in the next six weeks and what, what you need to do to accomplish those three things and stick to that and, and get up off of the wandering page because that's not good and you will tire yourself out before you ever even get to spring so you don't want to do that you don't want to end up sick um bring your focus home this, this is my happy family cup but it has a lot of different meanings uh by having everything you want to keep giving um about the home prosperity but I'm, I'm focused on the home and I'm focused on people in your home uh, so and that's kind of bringing back to this about your energy you might want to refocus it on your kids maybe maybe your significant other it seems like someone there's having a problem and again because of the holidays I think everybody just kind of gone through this You've just been so damn busy and by the time you spend five hours in line at Walmart trying to buy two things for people at work, for Santa, Super Giver, whatever, yeah, a whole day is gone, a whole night is gone. And you do that three or four times between Thanksgiving and Christmas, and yeah, you lost a whole lot of time. So somebody at home is going through something. If you're living with in-laws or with your own parents, check on them. Make sure everything is the way it should be. Um, and, and again kind of refocus that energy and I think you probably would want to refocus it at home as far as the ace of wands <coughs> it's the same thing it's about focused energy and I wrote that down here it's one of the meanings of this you may need to uh, Sag take a day this weekend as well and instead of with your other by yourself go get a book or go take a hot bath get a glass of wine and you need to chill you really need to chill because I can just feel my heart's racing because you guys are just on everything. All right, you know, just over here, and I got to go over here and do this, and over here, I got to go over here, and then I got to go back over. Nah, ha, ha, ha. You will be tired before we get to June, and this is kind of play on your health if you're not careful. So, like I said, pick the biggest three things in the next six weeks that you want to complete. Um, something's going to trigger this between tomorrow